this is what I use to remove my brow pomade. I have had this pomade on my brows for so long, y'all. Because I've just been so busy and so lazy when it comes to actually like getting my face cute. Because I don't be going nowhere anyway and don't nobody be seeing me. So if I just don't feel like doing it, then I won't do it. Um, like I'll wash my face. This sounds so bad, but sometimes I don't clean the brow my made up. I'm sorry, I'm not perfect. But I'm removing it today because I got to do my eyebrows over because I'm streaming later. I'm going to use this olive oil on my hair and my brows. So in case somebody has something to say about that. Those are my natural brows. Oh, it's PMS week and I'm breaking out right here, right over my eyebrows. I'm literally in this bitch choking because the ventilation is so bad and all of my neighbors smoke weed or smoke cigarettes. And my whole entire apartment smells like their weed and cigarette smoke. No, I move. I am leaving the absolute worst review on you. Hey guys, um, today I am going to be cutting all of my hair off. For those of you who have been here for a while know what you're thinking. You said you were going to grow it out long this time and you weren't going to cut it off. Trust me and believe me, I still want to do that. I mean, I, I don't want to say I still want to do that, but I wish I could have done that, but it can still happen. Um, it's just that I really feel like I need to get rid of all of the negative energy that is attached to my hair um when i first started growing my hair out it was uh like mid-october or early november of 2019 and that was also the beginning of a whole bunch of terrible shit that has happened to me over the past year and a half and that means that all of this hair on my head it just has all that negativity attached to it and I can remember the first time that as a woman I felt like I needed to cut my hair off and I didn't even really know why I felt like that it was after a really really bad break my first heartbreak and um I was just having a tough time and kind of depressed and I just had this urge, this unexplained feeling where I'm just like, I need to get rid of my hair. And that was the first time I ever cut all my hair off. It was the first time I ever had hair that short. My hair wasn't even that short when I was born. And after I did that and I started to glow and feel so great about myself and feel so much more positive and happy and great things started to happen for me and I didn't really connect it to cutting my hair off until later when I found out that that was like a thing <laughs> like that's really a thing um and I'm just I'm getting that feeling again because I'm just like I've started my new life and yet things still feel kind of like really stagnant and I'm not, I don't feel good. I don't feel happy. And I'm not saying that cutting my hair off is the answer to all those things and it's just going to magically change everything, but I feel like it would be a great start. I've already like started doing other things again that I used to do, like 
writing down, you know, journaling and manifesting and I'll come up with a new like work schedule to make myself more productive and um, starting to take walks every day to feel more like active and get fresh air and just be healthier in general and just have a, a better mood in general. But I really feel like this hair is a big part of it. I'm not going to lie. So I got to get rid of this shit. <laughs> I really do. Change that. On and on I go, babe. On and on, on and on. 